I just try to listen and understand what is going on, what are their symptoms, and what can I offer them. And, and to that end, I've had a lot of success treating these patients. I think they're patients with really high satisfaction after surgery. When they've kind of exhausted all their medical options, they kind of look at the implant as a foreign body and trying to get it removed. I found these to have, on closer examination after the fact, cultures that were positive for bacteria, so they really had an infection. I found them to have capsular contractures, significant amounts of scarring, entrapping the two pec muscles, making the range of motion limited, giving them nerve pain, shoulder dysfunction. I will not say that it's resolved every single person's symptoms 100% of the time, but well above 90% of the patients achieve some level of symptom relief. I've found people with ruptured implants. Uh, leaking silicone is never good to have in your body, so I feel that you know, the justification for the procedure makes sense. I think it all goes back to technically performing a sound operation at the first encounter so that you follow these steps, the 14 point step plan that we've all adopted to be safe and use good technique to place these devices so that we reduce these problems for patients. Mm -hmm.